Hey, kids, this is Simon. How you doing? You know, it's cool. As I check out other uh, vloggers' channels and uh, read blogs, etc., you know, I get to have my thinking challenged all the time because, you know, although these other people and I might be like-minded, you know, they have different experiences, different perceptions, you know, uh, different takes on stuff. And so sometimes, you know, I have my own opinion strengthened and I, and I understand what I believe and why I believe uh, better. And sometimes I have my thinking challenged to the point where I, I'm, I'm changing my uh, views. And sometimes I'm just in a state of flux. And so I'm not really sure where I am with this particular one. But, you know, if you've uh, watched my videos lately, you know that I've been, you know, going through a lot of Runeslinger's videos. And although I subscribed to him some time ago, I'm, I'm kind of going into depth in his channel and reading, looking back at all the stuff he's, he's talked about. And so he talks a lot about immersion and, you know, things that will uh, break the verisimilitude and um, the consistency of the game world and, and traps to avoid. And so I want to talk about something that, you know, I've, I've mentioned in the past, way in the past, I think. Uh, that's something about, like, sandbox campaigns, you know, or games where when you're world building, and I'll tell you, I'm not the best world builder by, by a long shot. You know, there are people that are much better at it than I am. You know, I'm okay, but... There's people that are just incredibly creative or they have a passion for it. And I, I don't have a passion for all those little details. Um, and I'm not as good at it as they are. Um, but as, as you're world building, you know, the tendency is you have this little epicenter for, where, you know, the characters start. And uh, then as you go farther and farther away from that epicenter, you know, the world becomes fuzzier, you know, as a game master. Um, because you don't know what direction they're going to go into. There's no real plots. There's no real arcs. Um, so you're not sure where the players are going to go. And, you know, as a... Uh, when you're me, you, you wonder to yourself, well, how necessary is it for me to flesh things out entirely? And there's a continuum you can, you can um, lie on. You know, where, where are you on that continuum? And the problem is, if you don't flesh things out enough, if you don't prepare enough, then you run the risk of, you know, A, just being totally caught with your pants down. Um, or also, B, having what you, uh, you come up with on the fly be inconsistent. And I don't mean just like you forget names and places and, and you know, uh, how it all ties together. But it doesn't make as much sense uh, as a whole. Uh, on the flip side, I think the, the trap you fall into, and I've certainly fallen into this trap before, is you spend so much time uh, putting some detail into something. Um, if the players don't choose to interact with it, you kind of almost want to railroad them there somehow because you're so proud of it. Or maybe you're not just that proud of it. You're just like kind of like after spending that much time on it, you, you, you're like, they've got to go there. They've got to interact. This stuff is important, right? You know, so somewhere, you know, for me, somewhere in the middle is a sweet spot. Where that is, you know, varies um, from game to game. You know, uh, he, he mentioned about uh, Blackleaf having other ideas, but that's that's another video. I don't want to make this one too long, but uh, challenge my thinking there a little bit, or just, you know, maybe think a little bit more, because, uh, well, I'll get into that later. Um, but, you know, that, that's an important, um, for me, that's an important uh, thing to keep in mind all the time as a game master, is... Uh, when running a, a campaign like that, like, you know, how uh, how much do I want to put into it? And, you know, I'm a, I'm a fan of the, uh, the events, the, the world events are going to take place. Like, I know some things that are going to happen no matter what. Um, let's pretend, you know, just to make things like uh, more concrete, um, you know, it's it's World War II era. So, you know, sooner or later, Hitler is going to invade Poland or, uh, you know, let's go back a few years. So the depression is going to happen in America. Um you know, there's, you know, the, eventually uh, Pearl Harbor is going to get bombed. Um, I forget the physicist's name off the top of my head. But at one point, a physicist is going to discover uh, that he can actually have a sustainable fission reaction. And all of a sudden, the scientists all around the world know, bomb, you know. Uh, these are events that are just going to happen, regardless of what the characters uh, choose to do. And they may not choose to interact with these things at all. They may do something else. So I may, you know, have a, a similar situation in a game world. And, I, you know, a lot of times I do like swords and sorcery fantasy. But, uh, you know, I know at some point, you know, some nation is going to uh, declare war on, like, the, the nation I have a character start in, the city um, they start in, that sort of thing. Um, I know at some point um, some cultists, you know, members of a particular cult are going to all of a sudden, like, awaken something they wish they hadn't, you know, and... You know, say it's a game world where, like, you know, culture just kind of pesky. Okay, they're doing sacrifices. That's that's gross. Let's let's mop them up and everything. But that wasn't for real, was it? You know, so I know that that's going to happen uh, at some point. I may know that there's going to be tensions between a couple of different nations, or uh, you know, you get the idea. There there are some world events that are going to go on regardless. 
uh, of what the player characters do for the most part. And, and they don't they can choose to interact with them or not. Um, but I don't have all these things fleshed out entirely. I, I don't know everything about these cultists. I don't know everything about uh, the nation. I know, I know maybe may have a little thumbnail sketch of this other nation that's going to attack, you know, uh, start declaring war and whatnot. And, and, you know, the players might have the ability to really uh, affect events eventually. Although I do prefer things where things are bigger than they are. You know, I like that. Um, Etc. You know, maybe maybe at some point some extraterrestrials will land. You, you, you know, you get the idea. Um, but I don't need to f flesh everything out um, entirely because, you know, what if they don't interact with that stuff at all? What if I never really need it? Um, do I really want to put that much effort into, uh, into it? You know, versus like, man, I, I got to make sure that, uh, you know, I don't uh, be quite unprepared or things just don't make sense. So, uh, you know, what do you think? Where do you like to fall on that uh, in that continuum? You know, let me know.